Hey, you talk about reporting from Oweri, the Imo state capital. It's no longer news that Imo is one of the flashpoints in this election with 71 political parties, the highest in the country according to INEC, slogging it out to determine who takes over from the incumbent governor of Imo state, Rocha Sokrocha. Without mincing words, the political temperature in Imo is high and electorates are concerned. The political drama in Imo in recent times has put Imo in the eye of the storm. For the first time, Imo will be fielding five strong political bigwigs who are frontliners in this election. And Imo indigenes as well as Nigerians are watching to see what will play out finally. Remember the crisis rocking the Imo APC, specifically between the National Working Committee of the party and Governor Rocha Sokrocha of Imo State on the candidature of Senator Opuzodima, who is the APC governorship candidate in Imo State. Don't also forget the controversial primaries of the governorship candidate of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, Senator Ifani Ararume, and that of the PDP governorship candidate. Right Honorable Emeka Edia, which led to the formation of NABGA and NPDP, respectively. A former governor of Imo State, Ike Akim, is also in the race, contesting under the platform of the Accord Party. And of course, Mr. Uche Unwosu, the former chief of staff to Governor Rocha Sokrocha, who defected from APC to AA. No doubt, it's going to be a clash of the titans on Saturday. Meanwhile, INEC and security operatives in Imo State have given full assurance that the election on Saturday will be non-violent, free and fair. We will be here keeping you up to speed with events and happenings around here during Saturday's governorship election and after them.